get it tested. Good, was it? That's not too bad. The optimism is overrated. So you've got four solar panels there, and they've, in the time you've been out on the water, which is about a month, they've yeah. served you quite well, haven't they? Have. they? Yes, they we haven't have. been plugged in at all. No. And the batteries have nearly been at 100% all the time. Yeah, I've taken the batteries down to about 80%. Right. Eight, low 80% right. on yeah. several occasions. Yeah. So. Low 80 is <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. But that, that's lovely. I mean, that is really just, yeah. you know, a little bit of propeller yeah. gurgle. <laughs> Indeed. Yes. It is. There's lots of swallows under here. Oh, really? And they should be on their way home soon. Yes. You see their nests yeah. there? If you come through here earlier in the year, you see the little chicks poking out. Yeah. That oh. looks like an old yeah. nest. Looks like they're abandoned now, doesn't it? You haven't seen these locks, have you? No. Before? No. They're um, guillotine locks. <clears throat> what is that? So the lower gate um, is, is just a big sheet of metal which lowers down most of them mechanically. Wow. So I don't know how they work then. Well, you'll, you'll see. I'll see. Yeah. yeah. So are they easier? Um, um, no. <laughs> They're slow, you see. <laughs> they are slow. Nice to see a father and daughter working together yeah. <laughs> so harmoniously. <laughs> so that's probably about a kilowatt, isn't it? This. Just under. Just under. Yeah. And how much sun is coming in, Millie? Is that the thing that says sol? Yes. Yeah. Uh, 119 watts. 119, 119. Uh, It's a grey old day, isn't it? Is, it is, isn't it? It's yeah. quite a thick cloud. Yeah. yeah. Had you been on an electric boat before? No. No? Not at all, no. And your motivations? Um, I suppose a bit of idealism that I want to be part of more sustainable travel um, and I did have some money which was an inheritance from my mum when she, when she sold her flat so I decided to to go for it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's a wonderful thing, inheritance, isn't it? Makes, well, well, it makes yeah, decisions it's, very easy. It's a one day, once in a lifetime thing, isn't it? <laughs> it is, yeah. yeah. We've done a bunch of work, but you've also done a bunch of work yes. as, as well. Yes. On, on the boat. And how have you found that? Oh, it's been great. Yeah, I've really enjoyed it. Because um, you have given me some pointers about how to do things, and yeah. obviously, painting. Yeah. The preparation is absolutely key. It is. When I first stepped on your dad's boat, <laughs> I always, and I liked it because it just looked like your dad. Well, I said to dad yesterday that all my life he's changed things, adapted things to suit his needs. And this, it's like a whole new level of dadifying something. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got the, the motor. We've got lithium batteries, we've got 1600 watts of solar. We installed a reflex stove, which is the, the, the diesel stove. They're very, very clean mm -hmm. and you can leave them on and, and there's, yes. there's, there's no fuss. You can leave them on for months, really. Right. I feel good because uh, you know, I, I've, I've given you what you asked for in the terms of uh, a, a lovely quiet electric motor and lots of, of, of power and, and things like that. But also 
that I know you're going to be warm in the in the winter. Mm. You know that yeah. that'll, that'll make Millie happy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Knowing that she can come up and it's going to be warm. Be nice and warm. Yeah. 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 Yes, I'm, I'm thrilled with the boat now. I really am. Yeah. 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 It has enhanced what I had before. Good. Yeah. Good. How have you found it working with the guys? Oh, brilliant. Yeah. 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 Shall yeah. I tell them that? Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah, do. No, they've been so. I mean, I, I, I was talking with you about this, wasn't I? I've ha been, being a teacher, I've never been around people that work practically in that way yeah. and to be in that environment is just fascinating and it and I just admire Colin and and Jolly for their knowledge and their craftsmanship. What I would like to do is encourage more people down to the marina and I can see space for um, three boats like yours where we're doing a little bit of work mm. on the boats and the owners are doing work on their boats. I'll get some tools in that um, that will make life easier yeah. for people. Yeah. Um, but also there's the advice on hand yes. which yes. It, it sort of gives people the surety um, to do that. Yeah. So, so I'd, I'd really like to develop that in, in the future mm. as, as well as building the new mm. boats. So how did you get into boating? <laughs> well, um, now would you recommend it? Oh yeah, well I would, mm. yes. Mm. Yes, I was looking for something that was affordable mm. for me mm. in my retirement. Um, and a friend of mine, actually, uh, she was a matron at a private school. Okay. And um, obviously when she retired, she lost her flat. Mm. Um, so, so her and her husband bought a narrow boat. Okay. And um, and I thought, oh, there's an idea. That's yeah. a good idea. And you're a musician, because I've been going on about. Yes. I've been teasing <laughs> you about that. Yeah. Yeah. That's I've that's well. I mean, coming to rugby, um, and I met a particular man, Steve Boyer, who's since passed away, and. Um, and he introduced me to all the, you know, all the musicians of note in rugby. Right. <laughs> and Leamington and that area. Okay. And the music scene around there is, is just amazing. Yeah. There's little folk clubs and sessions and pubs have music. So, um, you know, so that was great. I just like landed on my feet there, really. Yeah. Tell me what your next year is going to look like. Well, my goal is to take the boat to Cropperdy. Okay. Um, Fairport Convention. Fairport Convention Festival. Yeah. Um, and I play in a, a trio called the Scutters. Mm -hmm. We play some of our original music. We have an Irish set which goes dip down very well in Rugby and Coventry yeah. area and Leamington. And um, we do covers as well. So we do okay. loud pub gigs yep. and stuff. So we shall continue with that. Um, and hopefully take the boat out more. I think yep. I think I shall be motivated to okay. take the boat out more. Good. So just out of interest, that's um, 0.87 watts. Yeah. Um, we started off at... Um, 91%. What, 91. You are down to 89%. Wow. That's, yeah. that's and, pretty good. And you're getting 154 watts, yeah. watts in. So it's you know it's pretty efficient and motor temperature is um, is 18 degrees now so so it has warmed up a little bit but but not an awful lot speed over the ground 3.6 um, kilometers mm -hmm. but we're going upstream so you yes. know, could add a little bit to that a little well. bit yep. yeah yeah what happens when people have a an electric motor, they're, they're more conscious of the power that they use, they use yeah. but also they become conscious of, of the noise of the motor and the propeller and all of those things, and they try and reduce it. And I find that people who get a, a new motor um, go faster, and then without me badgering them, 
they get slower and slower mm. and, and more settled mm. in, in, in it all. So that's that's just a phenomenon. I go along at, at, at about this speed, yeah. and um, it uh, you know I, I enjoy it. Mm. Yeah.